Welcome back to my Let's Play for Magical Star Sign. I suppose it's time to finish this, because let's face it, there's no way this boss is going to be a challenge to us after I've smashed through everything in Glistening Caves. Um, I don't think anyone here can stand up to us. I'd, I'd be honestly surprised if they can take more than a couple hits. Um, what's going on? Everyone's being turned to gummies, that's what's going on. It's pretty messed up. Huh. Well, maybe just as screws everyone else here, man. Yeah, yeah, they are. What can I say? The man doesn't care about anything if it doesn't suit his goals. He will sacrifice anything and anyone to achieve them. Oh, wow, there's actually monsters that hide out here, too. Considering everything is getting turned into gummies, you'd think they would flee this place instead of sticking around to fight. You're like, man... I guess they, they just don't care about their lives. They must be really dumb monsters. It's the only explanation. Yeah, I saw that coming. Well, let's see how they t handle this. I'm guessing straight up kill here, more than likely. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be spread out, but you know, it's an advantageous move there. Yes, yeah, so we're so much higher higher level than the enemies at this point. We don't even get experience for defeating them. That that's how big the gap is. Oh joy, holes in the ground. That's what everyone wants to deal with, right? Huh. Guess I'll open you up. Oh, red worms. Gotcha. Not really needed, but thanks, I guess. What is that? Is that a pig thing or something, or is that a boar? Oh, whatever it is. It's dead. Seriously, I don't want something like that sticking around. It's just so freaky it has to die. Like, is it plant or animal? Something in between? I don't know. And my confusion makes me aggressive. It's not an ordinary looking monster, it must be an abnormally strong one, right? That's usually the case, the weirder a monster looks, the more powerful it is. I don't know why, that's just usually a thing. Like in Luxor, the final boss's most serious form is also its ugliest. Just guaranteed. Okay. Huh. Well, find it at some point. Okay. Why go up this one? Then curve back a few. That leads to a dead end, I believe. Yep. Aw, oh, damn. Someone took a giant bite out of that thing, man. That must be one big worm. Like, the biggest worm. Ever. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite huge, man. She better not have. We came a long way to see her, at least. Well... At least some of these holes are a bit smaller. But Gosh darn it. Oh, a dragon. That's cool. Ooh. Two different dragons. Unfortunately, I can't capture them. This isn't lost magic, after all. In Lost Magic, you can catch dragons based on all the elements, which I take great pleasure in doing. It's probably going to add another week or so to that on Let's Play, though. A bit unfortunate, but it's just work I like to go out of my way and do, because I just like catching the dragons. They're said to be the ultimate beast, after all. So they must be made the ultimate beast a burden for my forces, even if all they do is sit on the bench. Ah, uh, blood money. 
Let's feast on their souls, after all. Well, we might just kill him right here and now. Depending on how I got split. Well, at least we got winged studs, I guess. There's, there's that. I'm not too worried about completing a winged set at this point, though. A bit late for all that. Huh, probably the worm. Not my luck. Smells bad, huh? Oh, joy. Man, that thing's ugly. <sighs> yeah, no duh, it's right in front of us. Oh, Miss Madeline's here too? Oh, shoot. She's almost been entirely gummified at this point. <sighs> we better hurry. Yeah, the shining one. Got that right. Got a point. That's not what we came here to do. And I'm not even sure we can kill it. At least right now. There's a few other battles before the final battle thing with the battle with this monstrosity. <sighs> but I suppose we can um have a little fun with it for the moment. Okay. Come on, let's tear a new one. You know you wanna. Blades of wind, rend my enemies to pieces. Ah. Uh, well, guess we'll go in with the zero joker. I'm okay with wasting a little MP. I got enough yellow worms to counteract again anyway. And if you got the um, worms, you might as well spend it. Ooh, it's powered up now. Well, I botched it. Figures. Oh well. I'll still do enough damage to put in the hurt locker. Okay. Time for to taste my dragon's tongue. I've heard it has the most intense heat of any attack ever. You'll turn the whole world to ash. That's what I'll do to you, man. Yep, reduce to ash. Oh, you think we did it? That thing went down way too easily. I'd hardly call that a satisfying final boss. Yeah, because you're screwing everything up, man. Keep telling yourself that, you idiot. <sighs> Seriously. Hmm? Are you surprised? This place turns everything into gummies. No, no it's not. What do you think happened to every other mage that was brought in here? They all got converted. <sighs> well, that's good. Uh, 
Okay. Well, let's try and get back there, I guess. Oh, wait, we could just want around the worm, couldn't we? Oops. Well, no. Say goodbye, surfer dude. Cause I ain't got time for you. I honestly don't know what to call that enemy. It's definitely a surfer of some kind, just... I don't know why it's surfing. Surfing USA, I guess. Well, blood money. Okay. We're bringing the hurting field. Now, let's see. Ah, oh, it all fell on one enemy. Gosh darn it. That's why I didn't want to happen. Well, try this again. But there's can't no guarantee it won't end up happening a second time where all the attacks just go where I don't need them. Okay, that worked better. Okay. Cause yeah. I should be able to just bypass that worm now. Shoot. Caught again. Um, let's try and run. There's really no reason to stick around. After all, I'm not getting anything out of these fights besides money I don't even need. Oh no, I can't reach it from there. Huh. The dead worm's carcass is blocking my way. If only I could crawl over it. Okay. Well, we'll just have to start running from these fights to save a little time, I guess. Yep, let's go. I'm not wasting my time on these low-level, um, crap targets. Huh. Well, you probably don't have anything I need, to be honest. Yeah, I guess I can buy some Versatales to make it feel important, though. Because I don't really need them, but hey, it makes you look like you had some purpose to be there. Huh. Well, we better hurry this up. Got that right. Charge! Oh shoot, it's Kale! Oh no! Yeah, we came at last. And you'll not stop us, man. We are gonna wreck your shit. <laughs> I ain't got time for you, Kale. I really don't. I got bigger fish to fry. <sighs> oh, I think we can. Surprised he hasn't been dummified yet. Ooh, it's a giant monster. I'll give it credit. It's fast. Oh wait, that was just him powering it up. I'm sorry. I thought he actually did something with it. Here, Kale. Um. Taste the power of my cacti and just buzz off. Ooh, not a bad hit. I knew that wouldn't be enough to finish him off, though. Let's see. Let's do a little celestial swapping here. Okay. 
this fight takes long enough, she'll get her chance. Okay. Bring in the water power. Come on. I'm surprised. I figured it's gonna be um my main's next turn next there. Well, it's here now. Ah shoot. I was too early. And botched it. Well, at least we got um power up from it being night out right now. Is he defeated already? Are just severely weakened. <sighs> I distracted myself so much by talking, I forgot to lay down my hit. Well, let's drop another one on Kale. Now he's dead. Okay, that just leaves this gummy giant. Huh. The supreme gumminess, I suppose. Can't imagine what number that would do on your teeth if you tried to eat it. You probably wouldn't have teeth by the time you were done. Ah, she was denied. Interesting. Man, you got the crap kicked out of you. Yeah, like a butterfly? Huh. Darn it. You can tell me the end of the universe is going to be our fault. <sighs> yep, it's gone to Cocoon. <sighs> Damn. Too late, huh? gonna eat everything in sight. Gotcha. <sighs> yeah, we really do need to get out of here. We just don't have enough time. Uh-oh. I'm not to anything. Oh, don't tell me they've run out of battery power. Oh, shit. My life just got more interesting. In a bad kind of way. <sighs> but let's charge on forward. Not that we can really do much of anything for at this point. She's pretty much been entirely gummified at this point. <sighs> hmm. Somehow I doubt it. At that rate, you'd be dead. <sighs> Gonna try and dig her out, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I thought we already discussed that. <laughs> wow, that's some attitude. It's not over till the fat lady sings, man. And she ain't singing yet. Got that right, we can't give up now. We've come way too far. I hate your negativity, man. It's giving me bad vibes. <sighs> hmm. Breaking through, huh? <sighs> Malfunction. 
We can change the future. That's just how powerful we are. <sighs> nope, we got kid power. It's unbeatable. Gosh darn it. Now Hades has been affected. Earth, they just do. Huh. And he's gone crazy. I think he's a bit past that at this point. Gosh darn it. They did exhaust the battery. Supply. They're all losing it. Oh, you can feel it, huh? <sighs> to a new future, that's where it'll lead. But only after we kill it. I don't know if we can stop you at this point, Hades. We're sort of unconscious at this point. Well... He stopped himself enough, I suppose. Yeah... Stinking swine. Still in parts like that. <sighs> yeah, I hate that otter. If the sun gets reborn, can we launch him into it? He'd be sort of deserving of it, wouldn't he? Well, no. This isn't really something you can shake off, it's his programming. Miss Maline, right? I'm surprised she can even talk in that state. <laughs> so Knowingly release it, then murder it. Gotcha. Well, no. I think we can manage that. Yep. Let's go all out. I guess we're gonna have to convince her to help out, right? Yep. I'm surprised Hayes is still functioning at all. Her soul really is in there. Okay. We got enough sad flashbacks here. Jeez. That's an old one. Fine, huh? 
You look pretty darn broken to me. But now it's on. For the ultimate boss has appeared. Okay, after listening to his, like I said, this isn't going to probably be that bad, but it's here. It's finally here. The world's going to be destroyed by a stinking moth. Pretty sad, to be honest. All things to lose by, we lose to a creature dumb enough to fly into a fire. Huh. <sighs> And of course, that took so long, all my um, plants have been moved at this point. Okay. Unfortunately, moving her plant back into position is not going to be really feasible. Um, so I have to go too far around. Okay. I'm willing to exhaust myself for that. Ah, poor Hades. Only having one hit point left at the moment. Well, no. Shoot. Watch it again. Gosh darn it. My timing is all off. Well, now, that was interesting. It looked like it was starting to blow up there. Well. Here comes the, um, giant jellyfish. Oh, celestial swap of your own, huh? So does that mean you're gonna move the wind planet? Oh. Sweet. Okay, that wasn't so sweet. It powered me down, darn it. Well, no. Let's throw out the fireballs of death. Come on. Taste the awesome my my dragon's tongue. You overgrown bug. Actually, where's its legs anyway? That's a good question. Well no. Let's see, what can we do? 3200, huh? Bowling Rock. Ooh. Bring the Smackdown. Time for a rock attack. A Bowling Rock attack. We bellow like no one else can. Well, no. Mother's Nest. I don't know if that's gonna help out Hades that much. He ain't probably gonna get too many turns, but... Hey, it can't hurt. Nah, I go with Dazzle Darts. Partially, yes, it just looks cooler. Partially, because I imagine this thing specializes in, um, high defense. Ah, now its true form has been revealed. After thousands of years. 
Looks like a mega super ant or something. Here it comes, man. My wave attack. The waves of electricity, I mean. Well, try another briar patch. Shoot. Got my timing off. Okay. Try and bring the fire. Come on, feel my burning passion. And surrender to it. There's no way you can beat me. It's impossible at your level. Who really reduced the damage, though? Okay. I'm trying to do some celestial swapping. Well, no. It may have left me exhausted, but I should really get three characters up onto um, a boosted state come their next turn. That's what I'm talking about. And the bellowing rock is back. But can its bellows do serious damage to this thing? It looks pretty impervious. Aw, oh, man. Just messed up my mojo again. And after I worked so hard to set that up. Oh. Well, he didn't mess with one of them. That's a plus. Well, let's do this. Come on, Dazzle Darts. Yeah. Ooh, we can bring in the Cactus Crush. I doubt it'll get thorny, but hey, it's worth a shot. Sometimes it works. Most of the times it doesn't. Well, darn. I thought I'd at least throw an attack out there at some point, but it kept trying to deep power me so much it didn't do much of anything, did it? But, alas, it's dead. Dead were dead and soon to be buried, I'm sure. Hmm. Maybe we should get out of here. Being in this place with my new light's born seems like a bad idea, you know? It's the new sun, that's what it is. So, who's in charge of them now, anyway? I forget. You do, huh? Ah. Uh. Yep. So, our light's powerful enough to become a new star, huh? Now that's impressive. One of these days I might fight Mac fight Macadamus, but not today. Oh, you guys got solar panels? They're saying like it, huh? Pray, huh? You do that, Elder Kettle. You do that. Well, she did sort of kind of die, I believe, near the end there. Uh, 
Uh. Yep. Oh, he's just gonna blow. It's a gentle light, after all, from many great wizards. Yes, yes, they have. Yes, reserve power. Yes, yes, it can. Which is a good thing, since I really don't want to deal with killer robots. My question is, how are we still alive at the heart of the sun? Wouldn't that be literally impossible? And all the gummies are gone, too. We saved the universe. That's what happened. Hmm. Okay. We'll live. Seriously, nothing keeps us down. Not for long, anyway. Miss Madeline, though, that's a different story. <sighs> Gotta roll the dust out of my eyes. <sighs> Can't move yet, huh? You better get up. <sighs> Well, I'm not entirely sure yet. Hmm. A sob story, huh? <sighs> I don't think she can. Keep yelling, I don't think that's gonna help. Gosh darn it. I suppose we can try this. But I don't think it's gonna really charge her up. After all, we're of the opposite element. Gosh darn, do I just have to keep talking to her enough times? I don't think I'm gonna be allowed to leave. There's nowhere to even go. Okay. Me right here. Huh. Well, get her up now, maybe. Or him. Jeez. <sighs> no. I hate trying to hit her. Seriously, it's so easy to end up on the wrong character. Gosh darn it. Finally. <sighs> it's more of a fight to do this than it was to defeat the final boss. <sighs> Yeah, it's her, all right. But it's too late. <sighs> oh, don't worry. You can know, all tell you the story. However, it'll take a really long time. You're right, we did. We outdid ourselves many a time even conquered a cave that was said to be unconquerable. Okay, no one says that about it. It's just really difficult. <sighs> well, yeah, we've overcome a lot of hardships. I imagine we can overcome future ones as well. Eh. 
And she's going. <sighs> Can't do that. I'm pretty sure she's dead. After all, like she told the principal, it's goodbye. Nope, she's gone. <sighs> All that work and we didn't even achieve our main goal, rescue Miss Madeline. <sighs> yeah, I suppose we can do that too. But it's not the same. It really isn't. Hmm. Unlike Kale, because he went down a bad path in life. Nothing to fear, huh? So you say. <sighs> but we wouldn't know if we met each other again. After all, it'd be another life in another place. We're not Highlanders here. <sighs> okay. Guess it's time to head home now. Not that there's anything else to do in that cave. Huh. Well, at least we got some pictures to look at, I guess, while they go through the credits. Huh. I'm guessing some of these names should probably seem somewhat familiar to me, but I'll be damned if I can play some, really. I just don't think about who created a game that often. I usually don't. Of course, the sad part is a lot of the monsters in this game are actually in parts of the game that can only be accessed in multiplayer. Which is just really messed up. So unless you're um, playing and have a friend nearby that also has a copy or something, you may be hard-pressed to finish your um, beastuary. There's also a lot of equipment sets in there, too. Arguably the best ones in game, but still, it's irritating. But I like the dragon based design ship there. It's definitely the coolest. But one of those looks a bit like a NASA space shuttle. Well, I guess we're all splitting up and going our separate ways as we journey. After all, what else can we do, right? We're heading back to our school, after all. I mean, it's obvious that's what we're doing. Okay. I'm gonna spend time in the hold. I never really went down there. There's not really much of a reason to if you're doing only the single player stuff. <sighs> Ah, we're coming in for a landing, huh? Yep, time to return to school. Or in the words of Mr. Al, Skull. Yeah, I can't remember the Al's actual name in Winnie the Pooh. It's been a long time. Oh, I love how they just crashed it in there instead of getting a smaller compact rocket. Well, now... That fills in way too slow, man. <sighs> Held back for eight years, huh? Damn. I'm surprised he didn't quit. 
Sounds like quite the screw if it took him over eight years to get to pass. Damn. Okay, looks like he's defending onion people there. Well, I guess it's fitting. With his fiery attitude, the only path open to him was that of the hero, I suppose. Ah, she apparently joined the space police. You can tell. And that image makes it even more clear. <laughs> huh. Well, who else would she team up with? I mean, seriously. That's a hard job, man. Because the Space Police got a pretty nasty reputation at this point. And they deserve it. Billy's taught herself rocket science. <laughs> that just sounds like it would end badly. Yeah, I suppose they would be. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. <sighs> that just seems like a bad idea. And look at who's on top of that rocket. Terrible idea. Yeah, why did she accept his sacrifice? Seriously. <sighs> so, in the end of the game, Hades dies. they do with them. So you went away with Venti, huh? What's with these storage areas near the fuel tanks? Eh, to transform the ruins into a gigantic radio telescope. Hmm. A faint signal, huh? We really should have taken someone with us. After all, it sucks going somewhere by yourself, right? I suppose it leaves room for a sequel game where you can just eliminate pretty much all the characters from the previous one, right off the bat, right? Well, I suppose that's it. That was the epilogue. Well, that does it for this game. Till next time, then. See ya.